Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Lakewood Brewing. These guys are out of Texas. This was sent to me by Brandon C. He is down in Texas. Uh, thanks again Brandon, I do appreciate it sir. Uh, he has sent two different versions of this. We did the, uh, the other one uh, a week or so ago and uh, this is the Raspberry Edition. And what it is, is an imperial milk stout done with raspberries. It says here, ale brewed with lactose, sugar, and vanilla with raspberries. And this is bottled on... Very hard to read. Looks like it's one, one something of 2017. I can't read the date. 9.1% alcohol by volume, 56 IBUs. So it's got the alcohol, the IBUs, and the bottled on date right here on the side of the label. That's exactly what we need to see. Uh, even if I can't read the day, I can read the month and the year. It tells me exactly what month it was done in. And that's basically good enough. Uh, we're not doing an IPA or a double IPA here, guys. So uh, uh, I just like to know whether it was done at the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year. So if you got the, at least, if I can read at least the, the the month and the year, that tells me when it was done. That's good enough for me. So uh, commercial description on this is says here the first release in our limited seduction series. It's the Temptress Imperial Milk Stout you know and love. Infused with fresh Oregon raspberries, fall in love all over again. That's where that comes from untapped. So, uh, we got all the information out. We got the commercial description, so let's pop the cap off of this one. A little bit of hiss on that, a little bit of smoke. And lactose, guys, for you guys that don't know, that is an unfermentable sugar, so it should have a nice sweetness to it. Uh, says here, the food pairing is general chocolate dessert. Uh, glass for the pint, macronotic, tumbler mug, style, sidel. I've got my favorite tulip glass today, and not recommended for seven salary, unless ABV exceeds average range. Well, this is a 9.1 percenter, so I think we exceed the average range. I don't know if the raspberries would fade over time, guys. Uh, I wouldn't think so, but I think you could probably sell this beer for a while. Uh, five, maybe even ten years. Uh, didn't pour very much of a head over into the light. I'm not getting any at all. It's pitch black, guys. Pretty dark beer. Let's get a nose to it. I'm getting raspberries. I'm getting some nice sweetness there. Roasted malt. Maybe a hint of some caramel and toffee. It's cold right out of the fridge, so we might get some other notes as, uh, when it comes up to room temperature, which I will let it do, and I always do. It smells very nice. The raspberries are not overpowering the aroma right now. Now, the taste may be a different story. Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Definitely big time raspberries on the taste. Very nice. They're not overpowering, but you know they're there. It is a very pleasant beer. The raspberries kick it up a notch too from your typical style. That's tasty. Alcohol is super well hidden. 9.1%. 
The taste is much more pronounced and stronger than the aroma. I can smell it, but I can taste it ten times. That's nice. That's very pleasant, guys. Well, let's run out of the fridge. You know the deal, you know the drill. I'm going to let her taste it. I'm going to sip on it for a little while. Let it come up to room temperature. Come back with a final chug. That's what we do. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I've been sipping on it for a while now. Uh, very nice raspberry taste of this. Very nice sweetness with the lactose they've used in the brewing process. Uh, the raspberries are definitely there in the taste, guys. Uh, it's exactly what it says it is on the label. It is a raspberry milk stout, and that's exactly what it is. The alcohol is very well hidden at 9.1%. I find it very, very tasty. It's a nice change-up from your typical, typical stout. Uh, there's no bourbon barrel aging or anything like that used in the brewing process. Uh, exactly what is written on the front of this bottle is exactly what you're getting. Uh, a nice lactose stout brewed with raspberries. Still on the nose, now that it's warm up to room temperature, they're still, I can smell them, but they're not as pronounced as they are in the taste. In the taste, the raspberries are off the chain, guys. Very nice. Very, very nice. If you like raspberries and you like milk stout, a great combination. Final chug. Very delicious, guys. And I keep, I've said this a couple times already, the alcohol is super well hidden. You could get in trouble drinking this uh, in a bar or a brew pub or something like that, not knowing because you can't taste that alcohol. You, you don't know what you're drinking. And if you have two or three of these, you're inebriated, whether you realize it or not. So if you're not drinking it at home, guys, I have a designated driver or Uber or a taxi or something to get home. If you, uh, if you are the designated driver and you've had too many to drink. So be safe out there, guys, uh, because uh, Johnny Law don't care. If you go through a road check and uh, you've had a couple of these, Guess what? Guess where you're going to spend the night? Yep, that's right. Downtown, Great Bar Hotel. Alright guys, uh, very tasty beer. To me, uh, I think it's an A beer. I'm going to give it A minus 90 in the scale. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 89 in a very good range. I'm pretty close. I'm one digit away. Uh, the biggest reason I'm giving it the, the A minus and not an 89 is because all the information is on the bottle. ABB, IBUs, and the date and it is exactly what it says it is on the front label if you're expecting something other than a raspberry milk stout uh, you're not going to get it that's exactly what this beer is uh, over to untap final check-in they have it at 3.99 uh, that is uh, i usually consider the forward number to be the a scale but their best numbers have like been a 4.54 or 4.56 something like that so there's just enough people, and they average those comments out and those grades out. Uh, so their 4.56 would be their 10 beer. Uh, so you got to take that into consideration. 3.99, uh, that's entry level A as far as I'm concerned. So 8 beer uh, from Untapped to me, and 89, one digit away from being an 8 beer uh, from Beer Advocate. So with the information we got, yeah, it's an 8 beer. It's very tasty. Brandon, once again, my friend, my brother, I do appreciate you sending this to me. The Lakewood beers are very tasty, guys. If you can get them in your area or to pick them up, support those guys. Uh, if I could get their beers here, I would buy them. They're very, very tasty, very well made. So if you've had this particular version, the Raspberry Temptress, let me know what you think. Come on, baby, tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.